Hey folks, this is Dave with Dagon Laser Craft. I recently posted a video titled X-Tool 40 Watt Laser Lens Clean, uh, which basically was a, a surface cleaning of the, the lens cover. Uh, in this one, I'd like to go a little deeper. I uh, recently got some new information on how to better clean it, so I wanted to update and bring that to you. So. Uh, you start by, of course, making sure that the power is turned off. And then you want to remove the laser head from the carriage. Remove the light shield. Remove this red light outlet. Get a small Allen wrench out of your tool kit. And there is a one screw in the side. You want to remove that screw. Be careful not to drop it down in your honeycomb. There's probably be uh, probably an extra one in there, but I don't know. Then you want to pull out this, this nozzle with threads on it. It's uh, X2 calls it a nozzle. It's really the, the lens cover. And you just grab the threads and pull on it a little bit. It's got a little grommet that holds it in place, two of them, one on each end. The, the lens is still up in there. So we need to clean the lens, clean the nozzle, clean the red light outlet, and the shield. So that's what we're going to do. X-Tool just recommends alcohol and a cotton swab or a soft cloth for the shield. Get a little alcohol on the Q-tip, not too much. And when cleaning the lens, get that out of the way. When cleaning the lens, just use a side-to-side -side motion. Not, don't use a circular motion. It'll just spin the lens. Just go side to side, up and down. Try to look at it, make sure you didn't leave any fuzz behind or anything. Use the other end of the Q-tip. Dry it off a little bit. Lay it to the side. The nozzle, you want to clean. There's a little lens cover inside. And you just want to clean both sides of that. Same side to side, up and down motion. Dry it off. Same thing on the inside portion. Lay it to the side. Pick up the red light outlet. Clean inside real good if you still got alcohol left on your Q-tip. If not, get some more. Get a clean Q-tip if you need to. Clean inside. Clean outside real good. Get as much residue as you can off. And X-Tool recommends this procedure be performed per every one hour of use. I know it seems like a lot, but... Uh, you can judge how much gunk residue you've picked up and just know that if you keep it good and clean it'll improve your performance or at least keep it from degrading. Now for the light shield you want to just put a little alcohol on a soft cloth and just wipe the outside and the inside so you can 
you can see in. I actually don't use my light shield most of the time. I've uh, got my cover here with a with a shield in the window, a window shield. And then I use the glasses if I need to. So clean that off good. And then we can start putting her back together. Nozzle. You just push these back up inside, but you want to keep it flush with this top edge here so the the threads are showing out so the red light outlet can uh, can seat down on it, screw down on it. So just carefully push it down flush so you don't put any pressure on the lens. Get your screw if you didn't lose it. Put it back in. If y'all hear any uh, background noise, I think one of the neighbors has got some kind of pump running. And they probably don't know or care that I'm in here trying to make a video. So, All right, tighten that down, but not too much. Pick up your red light outlet. Screw it back onto the lens nozzle. Put your cover on. On the on the 40 watt, it's magnetic. Unlike with the 10 and the 20, I think there's a little screw on it. And then just put it back in the carriage. Tighten it down. Well, appreciate you folks watching. I hope that helped. And with any video that I do, if I find a better way to do it, I'll let you know. If you know of a better way to do it, just let me know in the comments and I'll uh, certainly try to update it. Thanks for watching. If you, if you enjoyed or if it was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you. See you on the next video.